fragments of pearls. She's a small wonder, a child unlike other girls. She's a miracle, and I grant you, she'll enchant you at your sight. She's a small wonder, and she'll make your heart take flight. La, 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 la. Plastic microchips here and there. She's the small wonder, brings love and laughter everywhere. Oh, no. Don't worry, it's just a little power failure. I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. What are you going to do, honey? I got all the wiring in the house hooked up to my computer. All I got to do is plug it into a power source. But the power's out, Dad. You're forgetting one little thing. We've got our own walking, talking little generator. Come here, Vicky. Raise your arm. Turn around. And let there be light. <laughs> And on the seventh day, I rested. <laughs> well, just a little nap. <laughs> oh, Ted, look! <laughs> Dad, we better do something. Smoking could be hazardous to her health. Uh, I must have overloaded her circuits. Hmm. Oh, there's someone at the back door. It's probably the Brindles. Their lights must be out, too. Their lights have been out for years. <laughs> okay, Vicky, let's see what the problem is here. Hi, Jamie. What do you want, Harriet? Her lights are out, too. My parents wanted to know if we could borrow some candles. I guess so. Why does your family always borrow stuff? Don't you ever go to the market? Sometimes. But my mother says the lines are shorter here. <laughs> well, you won't be needing these candles anymore. I'll save them for when you're older and wax your legs. <laughs> Thanks. You want to meet my cousin Mary? Her folks are away and she's staying with us for a few days. She's 16. People say we look so much alike, we could be twins. That's bad news for Mary. <laughs> Jamie, this is Mary. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> Harry, your lights are on too, so your mom said that you can forget the candles. Oh, well, here, Mary, take them anyway. There's nothing we love more than lending stuff to the Brindles. Here, take our salt and pepper shakers, too. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie, but we won't need them. I think we got a little lady killer here. Bye. <laughs> Bye, little lady killer. <laughs> There. That should fix the problem. You had us worried, Vicky. Well, we can finish our game now, okay? Okay. Now game our finish, can we? <laughs> What'd you say, Vicky? Okay. Now game our finish, can we? Ted, she's talking backwards. Yeah. That overload must have damaged her more than I thought. Let's see. Well, of course. The radio thermonic generator is malfunctioning, and the RPG fluctuations are oscillating out of sync. That makes sense. <laughs> Can she be fixed? No, I'm going to have to pick up some parts from the plant tomorrow. Oh, well, fortunately, I think that's her only problem. Vicki, uh, go to your cabinet and stay there. There, stay in cabinet, you're to go. Oh, boy. boy -oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, Reggie, Mary's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. I can't get her out of my mind. She's like a human Twinkie. <laughs> so what you gonna do about it? I don't know. It's tough to date a 16-year-old when your body only goes up to 12. <laughs> 
don't you try smoking a pipe? You not only look older, you could say smoking stunted your growth. It's gonna take a lot more than a pipe. I've gotta act older, too. Be more sophisticated like the guys in the old TV movies. <laughs> How do I look? Like you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Jamie, you're dreaming. Your elevator's stuck between floors. Look, I'll see you later. Oh, and uh, give me a call and get back from Fantasy Island. <laughs> Big help you are. Oh, hi, Jane. Listen, I gotta go to the plant to pick up some parts to fix Vicky. You wanna go? No, thanks, Dad. But I really could use some advice. Advice? Sure, Jane, you got it. Have a seat, huh? Dad, do you know anything about women? <laughs> Not anymore, Jamie. I got married. <laughs> I'm serious. This girl is someone real special, but I'm not special to her. How do I get her to know me better and to like me? Ah. Well, Jamie, I'd say the best way for a man to win a girl's heart is to, uh, to be very clever. How do you do that? Well, <laughs> there was this little trick I pulled in college once. Uh, you see, I was crazy about this girl. I could not get her out of my head. You mean mom? No, a roommate. <laughs> Barbara Edinson. Va, va, boom, Jamie. I mean, when this girl smiled, you could hear violins. <laughs> now, this is where the clever part comes in. You see, your mom was crazy about me, but I wanted to date Barbara. So I'd ask your mom outright, but I'd ask her to, to bring Barbara along, too, you know, using some excuse, right? <laughs> so mom was your second choice. Mm. No, no. As it turned out, the more I was with your mother, the more I realized that she was the one that I really loved. But I still think that uh, what I did was uh, pretty gosh darn clever. Know what I mean, Jane? <laughs> Thanks, Dad. That was a big help. Yeah, anytime, Jane. Hi, guys. Can Vicky come out and play? Now, no, Harriet. Uh, she's not herself today. <laughs> How about you, Jamie? You want to play? I've got nothing to do until Mary comes home. Did you say Mary? Uh-huh. <laughs> Harriet, have I ever told you that when you smile, I hear violins? <laughs> violins? Oh, Jamie, how would you like to come to the movies tonight? Oh, be still my heart. <laughs> I take that to yes. I'll pick Mary up at six. What's Mary got to do with it? She's your house guest, right? We can't leave the poor girl sitting home all alone. That'd be rude. Oh, Jamie, you're so thoughtful. I'm in heaven. <laughs> okay, that should stop you from talking backwards. Now go find Mom and, and help her out, okay? What's the, uh, what's the betting for? Barbara Edinson. <laughs> Barbara Edinson? Oh, you remember uh, my old college roommate? The one that used to go with us on all of our dates. Um, and, oh, 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 yeah, that, that, that Barbara Edinson, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the one that you were telling Jamie all about. The one I was second choice to. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I can explain that. You see, well, anyway, I mean, you were the one I fell in love with and married. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Yes, it means you can stick your cold feet on your own back tonight. <laughs> you look beautiful tonight, Mary. There you go again, you little lady killer. What about me? <laughs> well, like you said, Harriet, you two look like twins, so you must look beautiful, too. Jamie, 
you and your sweet talk. And me and my sweet ear. <laughs> Harriet, would you like some popcorn? I'd love it. Then go get it. <laughs> well, I mean, it'd be rude if I left you two sitting here all alone. See me. You're so gallant. <laughs> and take your time. <laughs> So, Mary, that's such a pretty name. I bet you were named after the Virgin Mary. Close, Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> well, I really like the perfume you're wearing. I'm surprised. Most boys your age wouldn't even notice it. That's because I'm more mature than the average 12-year-old. I even shaved tonight for you. <laughs> really? Isn't it bad to shave peach fuzz? <laughs> peach fuzz? You kidding? I get my six o'clock shadow at two o'clock. <laughs> hey, Mary. Hi. Okay. See you later, Jamie. Where are you going? I'm back, my love. Miss me? Where's Mary? Oh, great! Now I bought you all myself, sweet cheeks. <laughs> Terrific. Hi, honey. How'd your date go? Abe Lincoln had more fun in the theater than I did. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, what happened? For one thing, I took Dad's advice. Well, in the future, when you want to know about women, don't ask a man. Ask a woman. What well, woman? <laughs> well, how about me? I passed the physical. <laughs> what would you like to know? Well, there's this girl that I really like, but she hardly knows I'm alive. Well, have you told her how you feel? No. I said, do it. Girls prefer men who are, who, who are direct and honest and who don't play games. Direct and honest, huh? I'll give it a try. Thanks, Mom. Oh, oh my back is killing me. Hunchback of Notre Dame must have slept on that sofa. <laughs> okay, Vicky, I think that fixed you. How are your systems? All my systems are functioning normally, except one. Terrific. I got the world's tallest chipmunk. <laughs> there. There. I fixed your I voice. I fixed your voice. What'd you say? What'd you say? Come on, quit fooling around. Vicky, don't, don't do, do that. that. There, I turned your voice off. <laughs> nice guy. You're so smart, why don't you fix my back? Oh, ah! <laughs> What do you want, Harriet? I wrote you a poem that expresses my feelings for you. Great! Mail it to me. <laughs> I've got it right here. When I wake up in the morning, when I go to bed at night, the pimple on your chin is never out of sight. <laughs> I'm really touched. In fact, I'm so touched, I have to see Mary. Mary? Why? Uh... Uh, it's about a surprise gift for you. For me? Oh, Jamie, you remember our anniversary. It's been 12 hours since you heard the violin. <laughs> I'll go get Mary. You can keep the poem. Sleep well, dear. Terrific, uh, just like a baby. You mean you slept in your stomach and burped all night? <laughs> Okay, okay, I didn't sleep a wink, but I bet you didn't either. Are you kidding? There's a lot to be said for controlling your own electric blanket. <laughs> I also like your side of the bed. It's a shorter walk to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, okay, you got me over a barrel. You can also say you're sorry for pulling a dirty trick like using me to get at my roommate. 
Okay, I'm sorry. Well, come on, honey, I'm in. Am I off the hook? Please? 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 Okay, you're off the hook. Shake. Shake. <gasps> you think I'm gonna spend the night on the sofa and settle for a shake? <laughs> Where's Mary? What am I gonna say to her? Your mother said to get washed up for lunch. Hey, Dad finally fixed you. He finally fixed me. I'll be in later. I'm busy. I know what I'll say. Mary, my dear, I'll be direct and honest. Let's get married! <laughs> nah, that's stupid. She'll think I'm a jerk who says dumb things. That I'm just a playboy who toys with women's emotions. <laughs> Your mother said to get washed up for lunch. Not now, Vicky. Hi, Jamie. Harriet said you wanted to see me. Yeah, right. Oh, she said also to mention something about a diamond bracelet. <laughs> oh, this is my sister, Vicky. Vicky, say hello to Mary. Hello to Mary. <laughs> well, hello to you too, Vicky. What do you want to see me about, Jamie? Mary, I'll be direct and honest. Nah, that's stupid. <laughs> Cut out, Vicky. You want to be direct and honest with me about what? About the fact that I'm madly in love with you. What? Why would you say such a thing? He's a jerk who says dumb things. <laughs> Vicky! Come on, Jamie, quit fooling around. I really have to be somewhere. I'm not fooling, Mary. There's no use in fighting it. Fate brought us together, and it's gonna keep us together. Jamie, this is ridiculous. He's a playboy who toys with women's emotions. <laughs> Vicky, go. Let's get married. <laughs> now, let me be direct and honest with you, Jamie. You're too young and, and too short. But that's only temporary. Besides, being younger is an advantage. You'll die first and you'll never have to be a lonely widow. <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or to get mad at you. I think you better stick to Harriet. She says you're crazy about her. Are you kidding? I only pretended to like Harriet so I could be with you. What? Jamie, that was a terrible thing using Harriet like that. I'm ashamed of you. I don't ever want to see you again. But you will. Because I'm going to be at your side. I'm going to call you. I'm going to write you. I'll walk you to school. I'll carry your books. I'll even brush your teeth after lunch. <laughs> Jamie, that's enough. Goodbye. The little old lady killer will pick you up at seven to walk you to school. <laughs> Sorry. Who was that? Mary. Do you expect and believe that a girl like that is interested in a kid like you? Why not? Well, now, if I was Mary, I want a guy with a lot more experience. Like me. <laughs> All right, who's this Jamie Lawson? Uh, who wants to know? My name's Christopher. Want to find the little creep who's been bothering my girlfriend, Mary? I'm going to rearrange his face. <laughs> He's Jamie. <laughs> hey, no way. I'm Reggie. He's the creep whose face you want to rearrange. Have you got anything to say while you still have lips? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Christopher, let me be direct and honest. I'm not Jamie. I just look like him. Yeah. Then who are you? The pool man? Okay, pool man. Let's see how long you can breathe underwater. Reggie, do something. I am. I'm leaving. <laughs> okay, Christopher, you can put him down. I think you got the message. Not so fast, Christopher. He's a slow learner. I got the message. Loud and clear. Mary, why would you do this to me? Because you're a jerk. Yeah, what you did to Harriet is inexcusable. Yeah, and I also don't want you hanging around Mary anymore. I just thought I could get her to like me. Like you? Why would I waste my time on a little kid? A nothing. A nothing? 
Gee, I kind of like Lady Killer better. <laughs> Mom says you must come in for lunch, Jamie. Come on, Christopher. The little baby has to go in for his bottle. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, Vicky. You can tell that little skunk Jamie I'm never going to talk to him again. She said she's never talking to you again, little skunk. <laughs> You can tell her I don't blame her, and I'm sorry. He doesn't blame you, and he's sorry. Harriet, I really do feel awful about what I did. And I'd like to make it up to you by taking you to the movies alone, just the two of us. Go on. What else? <laughs> I'll even put my arm around you. <laughs> All the way around? <laughs> All the way around. <laughs> oh, I love it when you go caveman on me. <laughs> See you later, sweet cheeks. <laughs> Bye. Mom says you must come in for lunch now. <laughs> She's a small wonder, brings love. 